So, gamers have got pretty mixed feelings about trophies, achievements, and feats and other such systems since they first started to be implemented, and you can kind of see why. Because while it is very nice to hear that sweet chime when you pop a trophy for doing something cool, that is kind of undone by the arduous amounts of hours that you'll have to put in to unlock some achievements. And we're talking about the latter today. As I'm Jules, this is WhatCulture.com, and these are 10 video game trophies that really test your patience. Number 10. Shovel Knight King of Cards – Card Completionist Yacht Club Games created three DLC campaigns for their beloved retro-tinged platformer Shovel Knight. Each of them cast the player as one of the knights of the nefarious Order of No Quarter, providing a bit more insight into their histories and motivations along the way. Shovel Knight King of Cards is perhaps the most expansive of all, offering not just a wealth of new levels but a robust card-based minigame called Joustus. The game is similar to the famed Triple Triad from Final Fantasy VIII, but instead revolves around claiming gems on the board by pushing your own cards onto them and, obviously, the opponent's cards off them. The minigame is optional, but it is still a big focus of the narrative and some of the levels. There are tons of opponents to play against and many cards to collect, though claiming the Card Completionist trophy will be quite the feat. Not only are some of the cards played only by optional bosses who must be defeated in order to challenge them at Joustus, but others will need to be purchased from Chester, who offers as mystery cards of different, increasingly expensive tiers. Many doubles and a lot of gold grinding will be needed here. Finally, a very difficult optional boss, Giga Cardia, must be defeated if you want the card crystal, which displays the location of all unowned cards. This is going to take you a long time. Number 9. Bloodborne – Yharnam – Thumerian Queen as a From Software title and a spiritual successor to the Dark Souls series, there was never any doubt that Bloodborne was going to be a tricky title to tame, and those battling to secure a platinum trophy faced a steep challenge indeed, with the Yharnam Thumerium Queen gold trophy being a notable roadblock. As with many of the game's trophies, the requirement is simply to defeat the boss of the same name. She's an elusive, sneaky, and difficult foe, boasting projectile blood attacks, but the real issue lies in the journey to reach her. The Queen is essentially the final boss of the Chalice Dungeons, located deep in the third layer. To reach her, you would need to spend hours in the deceptive, puzzle-laden dungeons, which are both entirely optional and are referred to as the Old Labyrinth for pretty apt reasons because it is very easy to get lost down here. In addition, several bosses must be fought on the journey to the Queen, some of which are much more difficult than she is herself. All in all, this is going to take you a ton of perseverance and a lot of patience. Number 8. Metal Gear Solid 3 Snake Eater – King of the Jungle the Metal Gear Solid series has long provided players with a final ranking of their performance when all is said and done, and different criteria must be met throughout a playthrough in order to obtain some of the ranks, and only the very best get the most elite codenames. Metal Gear Solid 3 Snake Eater offers the Markor rank, which is the requirement for the King of the Jungle trophy. As the name suggests, this requires an in-depth knowledge of the game's vast jungle setting. Every type of plant and animal must be found and located. Naturally, this includes those pesky medicinal plants and the elusive Tsuchinoko, which both makes the trophy missable and your progress rather difficult to keep track of. As one final little trick, it's also necessary to score at least one kill and raise one alert. Such is the tricky nature of these ranks and their unlock conditions. Number 7. Super Street Fighter 4 Trial Athlete now, those who are truly dedicated to fighting games will have surely spent countless hours in the lab with their fighter of choice, practicing combos, spacing, cancels, and all manner of other technical aspects. Now, to help with this, the game offers options a little more robust than a simple training mode against an idle CPU character. And these come in the form of trials, challenges that push you to perform an increasingly difficult maneuver and slash or combo. They're character specific, meaning that each cast member has 24 trials, and some are fiendishly difficult. And of course, Street Fighter 4 insists that you complete them all for its Trial Athlete Trophy. The sheer number of these trials is beyond daunting, seeing as there are 35 fighters to master in this way, meaning that you're going to have to put in the grind if you're going to want to pop that trophy. Number 6. Far Cry 6 – Oh No You Don't those seeking to nab all of Far Cry 6's trophies will have to contend with a rather pesky gaming mechanic, time gating. The Oh No You Don't trophy may not sound all that tricky, as some challenges go, but it's important to consider what this will actually entail. For starters, these missions are no cakewalk, only being accessible after completing the campaign. Insurgencies see a given leader take over a section of the map for one week, and the objectives associated with that insurgency must be completed before they can change again. Real-time deadlines are a rarity that even the most nefarious trophies don't tend to deal in, and this time-consuming mechanic only makes it worse. 
Essentially, however adept a Far Cry 6 player you are, it will take three weeks of play to unlock this trophy, as the third leader won't even be accessible until then. Number 5. Resistance to Killing Machine there's a vital caveat to this entry. VC Resistance 2 servers have been shut down, making this trophy now permanently inaccessible. Those who tried to acquire it during the game's online heyday, however, will remember just how daunting it could be. Online FPS titles are some of the longest living around. Titles like Overwatch are still going strong. Not as strong, of course, but still very strong after many years, with players racking up incredible stats in terms of hours spent, kills scored, and so on. Resistance 2 seemed to be counting on this with its Killing Machine trophy that demanded a total of 10,000 kills in online play. Not just any online play, but competitive ranked matches. Now, the ranked modes of such titles are often not a fun place to be at all, and depending on your skill level, this could be a long, endlessly frustrating slog simply for one gold trophy. Number 4. Grand Theft Auto V Career Criminal it's remarkable to think just how popular Grand Theft Auto V and Grand Theft Auto Online still are. This is primarily due to the robust support that Rockstar has given the game since its September 2013 release. Now, At the time of its launch, it was an open-world experience on an almost unprecedented scale, and crossing its map by means of whichever ill-gotten vehicle you happened to be in at the time was a feat in itself. Such a large world, however, meant that a lot of content had to be provided to fill it, which is where the rather tricky career criminal comes in. Completing 100% of the game is a very daunting prospect, but this is how the trophy is unlocked. The requirements included completing every story mission, all the street races and sea races, all strangers and freaks missions, and a ton more, but not quite everything. Possible bugs blight this trophy as well, and the fact that it's a little unclear as to what is needed makes it all the more frustrating. Number 3. Pac-Man 256's Multiplied Mayhem Trophy Pac-Man is one of the most iconic video games ever, a concept that has been taken and adapted by countless other titles over the years. But the original series itself continues to riff on and modify its own formula. Some constraints remain though, those pesky ghosts will always be the bane of Pac-Man's existence, and their spawns will always be trickily timed, and obviously the power pill will always run out at the most inopportune moment. And Pac-Man 256 hit PlayStation 4s in 2016, featuring a devious trophy that plays on all of these issues. Multiplied Mayhem requires players to reach a times 16 multiplier from ghosts with a single power pellet, while also playing in single player. And as you can imagine, seeing as the ghosts are trying to get away from you when you're in this state means that you're going to have to have a lot of luck on your side. There's a significant saving grace in that the power pellet can be reset by collecting another while the current one is still in progress, but depending on the state of play, this can really take some doing. Number 2. Call of Duty Modern Warfare's Marl High Club Trophy Call of Duty fans will surely be adept at the series' gripping high-octane action. Timing, positioning, and a steady aim are key to success in this iconic series, and one particular challenge pushes these qualities more than any other, the Mile High Club trophy that can be obtained in Call of Duty Modern Warfare. This trophy requires you to skydive to safety on veteran difficulty, which demands a perfect run through a very difficult section on an aeroplane to rescue one hostage. You have just 60 seconds to complete this mission and are beset by enemies with even the slightest mistake, meaning that you're going to have to try again. Attempts are very short, but this only heightens the frustration as you try again and again in quick succession. It's the sort of thing that requires the pattern memorization and practice of a classic Mega Man boss. And number 1. Dragon Age Origins Blight Queller Across the RPG genre, it's common to want to avoid battles at some times. But Dragon Age Origins players won't have that luxury if they're shooting for the game's Blight Queller trophy. To achieve this, 1,000 Darkspawn must be killed, and this troublesome trophy is quite time-consuming at best and a bug-ridden exercise in futile frustration at worst. According to PSN profiles, only Darkspawn killed directly by the player as the protagonist count. There aren't an awful lot more than 1,000 Darkspawn in the game during any given playthrough though, meaning that exploiting and and reloading saves is one of the only reliable manners of hitting this goal. But even this is tentative though, as it seems that the count carries over to future saves. But the trophy is bugged and its requirements are rather steep, meaning that this can be very hit and miss, even though you need to hit quite a lot. And there we go, my friends. Those were 10 video game trophies that really test your patience. I hope that you enjoyed that, and please let me know what you thought about it down in the comments section below. As always, I've been Jules. You can go follow me over on Twitter at RetroJ with a zero, or you can swing by Live and Let's Dice, where I do all of my streaming outside of work, and it'd be great to see you over there. But before I go, I just want to say one thing. Hope you're treating yourself well with love and respect, my friend, because you deserve all the best things in life, and do not let anything or anyone else tell you otherwise, all right? You're a massive ledge. Now go out there and absolutely smash it. As always, I've been Jules. You have been awesome. Never forget that, and I'll speak to you soon. Bye.